beleza? Aqui quem fala é o Leas. Estou aqui no começo do vídeo para pedir duas coisas importantes aqui para vocês, para ajudar o canal. A primeira é deixar um like aí no vídeo, aqui embaixo, para ajudar demais o feedback. E a segunda é se inscrever no canal, que estamos com a meta aí de 200 mil inscritos, fechou? Tamo junto, rapaziada. Espero que curta o conteúdo aí. E é nóis. Galera, beleza? Aqui quem fala é Leas, tô aqui no começo do vídeo só pra apresentar pra vocês o Sesco Fest, mano, patrocinador fiel aqui do canal e graças à força de vocês liberaram mais um doll pra todo mundo que utilizar o cupom Aleas. Caso você queira depositar qualquer coisa e continuar aqui jogando aqui no site, mano, não esqueça de utilizar o cupom Aleas e utilize também o link, sempre o link na descrição, fechou? Tamo junto, galera, e bora pro vídeo. A fountain interconnected with a couple of players too. For Evil Geniuses, a split play into B could be popped open by the squeak door wraparounds. Slow walks in the track out, the underpass control. We've got engagements from Keserato and Yuri getting those two picks on Breeze and Automatic. Five on three situation. Suck trying to wrap that corner, get the trades in alongside Hex, but drop quickly drops one more to return. A three on two situation. Tag up damage being done to the evil genius's side, but return towards Furia as the kills start pouring in. Nealon gets one, a headshot on drop as he tried to jump out the way. The wall bangs quite a kill, but at least they've tagged him low enough to the point where he shouldn't be aggressing as far forward as safe is. Automatic, we'll see the massive CT forces and actually will lose his life for it. So a four on three game by Furia. They are low on HP on a couple of players and they haven't got the A site. So this bomb should go down. There's potential in this retake for me though. The issue is how late the retake is going to come in. You can see the CTs have not been able to get up to bank or dumpster as of yet. Get a boost back towards that heaven control. They've got the backstab wraparound coming through from safe with that Galil. He might be in for an exit frag later into the rounds. Mac 10 in smart spraying through, engaging upon the Galila Breeze. Doesn't quite get the double up. Yuri Low HP finds that frag, and now safe closes in the back lines out towards the long control. Neil and the Cirk still convinced that it's all down to this dumpster control, but one man does have his head in the swivel and is ready to receive that backstab. Cirk walking forward, looking for the shots on Yuri, but the P250 comes up, and Neil and suddenly in trouble. Spray back on one, turned on by safe as Neil and was caught distracted, and EG a caught off. Serato trying to see if he can deny the bomb for going down in case Serato makes it a couple. Now the retake try to come in from both players. They've got a kid to work with. They can slow it down. Lean in at the pizza corner. Case Serato looking over against Automatic. Burst up. Headshot gain. One versus two. Still for Freeze. Nine HP gets that shot on the man. Low HP for Yuri. Still possible that he can win this clutch for a 2k. Three kills overall in this map up. Swing out. Connects his shot. M4 looking down bathroom, Cirque slow walking, Art saw him, but the orb has a little bit better vision and accuracy, so four on four, safe now, waiting for backup to arrive, Yuria, uh, Yuri rather I should say, is already back out towards this dumpster position, he's going to get dealt with by Neilan, who actually swings around and doubles up, 12 kills for him so far, he is having a monstrous start. Neilan's doing everything when it comes to this T side, those impactful frags, opening up bomb sides. We know that he's averaged a 1.24 rating in the last three months on the three maps played of Overpass. The in-game leader is taking all the control into his own matters, and you could just see the way that even Art is working behind that smoker divider, gets caught off by the AWP, and then Neilan with that double entry up to A. Sentiment's a 5-1 to one lead here for Evil Geniuses. The A site, the AWP thinks he might be here, and he lands his shot. Suck. Parking in from shore. The flashes will go over and Hex will try to lead the charge. See where Case Serato is. Automatic with a quick trade back on drop. Four on two. They should know the second player is out there. The bomb's in the open, so CT is going to get given some time to rotate. Evil Genius is letting this clock run out and their chances run slim. Suck now in a one on four. Will only get the first pick. No more. Nilan's going to have a tough time to sell this as a fake because he doesn't have any names. So it will just be the noise council. And now even the one for one trade down towards Dry at Monster. That's so much information. And CTs can start rotating over. Out from that T round. Angle 20 seconds. Evil geniuses need to prioritize that bomb plant. Yuri engages, finds Cirque, takes a lot of tank damage, drops, swings out. Damage done through the smoke. Automatic dead. Breeze, last man standing, and drop will connect it together with the AK at 2k. Kind of walk their way through that monster position and try and work in execution much earlier here. Art has caught that first kill on automatic. Drop forced to respond towards Breeze at the two for one. Seeing the other players as Yuri in case Serato get involved. Drop there with a 2k. I want to be careful about making that move in towards the mid control. If he drops there, this will be major info for Fury and probably a hard stack rotation into the A site. It'll rest on Yuri to get said frag. 
And we know anytime they've been aggressive towards Divider, Fury have typically paid the price for it. They've got to expect more of these long walks. They've been a consistent thorn for EG on the T side. Fury, big kill. Can't quite get Hex. Doubled up for him. The AWP now in the back. His drop takes some damage here to the Molotov. being sent on towards Dice. Now safe. Will get driven away. Sucks. Orp can't connect his kill. But safe can see ahead. Get Hex to drop at last. One of the one versus three, spotted out by two. Drop has still got an incendiary, so as soon as that smoke starts to clear, that can go out to Monster. This is going to be a pop. Flash in, Caserato still gets his kill, jumped out from automatic, can get that trade and double up on Drop. Nice and effective there with that Galil, AK upgraded to rightfully. Four on two scenario for evil geniuses, but Yuri still wants a fight here. He's looking up to the site, the bomb plant has to be going down. Can't really deny it. Backup and save has arrived towards Heaven Control. Automatic has not seen the individual. The Flash has come forward and Yuri has revealed his hand. This might have to be a save call here from Furia. 2v4, not a lot to work with. Automatic has been seen. Quick swing. Yuri actually gets that kill. Now Breeze is going to get drawn into the site. Try and hold the defensive. Sirk drops as well. The AWP doesn't manage it, but the smoke has gone down to the bomb. Will Yuri try the ninja stick? Tapping it. Dead to rights on Hexed. Quick kill. Led by Neilan, who is still top fragging despite not having a decent pick in for a very long time. Safe jump facing, seeing what's going on. Flashbang's going to catch both him and his backup completely off guard. Still looks around that smoke as Neilan connects his 14th. Looking into the backstab, it's automatic to deal with Art. The incendiary goes down towards Sark, but it will not quite extend towards him. So the bomb plant comes in pretty effectively with Neilan and Hex getting two more picks. It's all on case Serato in a one versus five. The big man this week here for Furia. Furia though. See. Pistol round, seeing safe charge in with a Glock. It's only Glocks across the board, and those Glocks will get success with Kay Serato finding Breeze. Looking in against Hex now, driving him back away from Graffiti. Bomb plant does come down. It's retake on for Evil Geniuses. Oh, look at Art, mate. I'm loving this position. Back down towards T-Sport. He could be on for a lot of damage. Two players seen. Only one being taken down. Yuri responding to Hex. Meanwhile, makes it a four on two instead for Furia. Kneeling. Headshot. Sees another good player. Turns on a case Serata, but looking away. Throwing his aim off and throwing his chance in the round. Automatic now against two. Sees them both. Tapping desperately for a headshot. No kits in sight and no chance in hell. It's Furia. Yuri tagged. Waiting for someone to wrap that corner. Hoping he can catch Automatic with a decent shot. Looks in towards the main entrance and does pick up the frag. A four on four with no trades. Neil and all in and in time to grab him. Needs to get the kill on the safe. More importantly, to drop that bomb and basically shut the round down here. Theory will have Case Serato at least inserting to get a pick back. So much more to do. Time just not on their side at all. Case Serato trying to see if he could force that fight out into the open. Does deal with Neil and Art oh, might be able to catch Breeze. Oh, this oh. looks good. This looks good indeed. Ted shot gain. No knife kill. No embarrassment. SMG does engage. Four seconds. Have they got the bomb down in time? I think they just about do. AK swapped out to Hex. Still looking for the clutch here. One player low. And one player will be right beside him. I set. Walking up close and personal. Trying to find the angle to play with. We look all the way. No, he won't. Art catches in case Serato swings for the kill. The triple. Not safe. Watching with the AWP, hoping for an overextension. EG are not going to give it to him. They want to try and see if they can present the boost. Case Serato seeing nothing. They want to try and bait the M4 into the open. That's exactly what happens. And Case Serato's there for the trade. So fast and responsive. They weren't aware of that boost. Didn't check it. And we'll fall to it. Four on four situations Second. to the clock. The smokes are coming down. The execution is inbound. One heaven, one sight. Flash going over. Hex has evaded it. Neil and similar story. Secondary flash catches the T site off more than it does Neil and who swings out for a double. And Case Serato is suddenly left alone. Two kills to his name. Bomb on his back. 15 seconds. Needs to get Neil in the back of the site to set up this clutch here. That's what he does. Bomb should go down. Give himself the extra money. Try to fake it out. Draw those fights into the open. And automatic on the railing towards heaven's going to drop. How far do they extend? Out towards short. For, for Mars Hex. Look at how far forward he's going to get. He's in for a rude awakening. Footsteps heard. Okay, Serato caught off guard. Got a swing back. Sees another player. And gets the hell out of the way. What a timing. And now even connectors being pressed slightly aggressively from automatic. He might be able to set up a big old backstab. M4 just watching down as the connector control. Flashing for Hex. Try to keep the teams at bay. Further util thrown down with the flashes over. Against the counter flashes of the T sideline. Hex is caught out in the open. Now to a three on three. Breeze without Famas. Now known towards center of the site. Got to get out of there. Automatic on the backstab. Suppressed by that smoke in from Monster. Might take some time. Breeze is trying to suppress them. Trying to provide a bit more covering in the back lines. Automatic walking in very quickly. Safe. Spotted in spray. That's one. Yuri will not be two. But Cirque and Breeze get those kills Instead, anyway. It's drop. 
into the default. Leading the charge up, flashbangs in, does get caught in the face by one of them, but Yuri has his back and has Hex. The breeze will also drop. The breeze dealt with immediately, five on three, four on three actually, so it does get that one kill passed on Yuri. But it shouldn't lead towards a retake here. I think you've got to back off in this sort of round. You can even see a boost being set up towards heaven. Neelan's got to get this pick in quickly, and it gets caught off guard by Art. And now Cirque calls in the save. Automatic slow rotating back. 15 to 11. Furia will have map point. Evil Geniuses on their map pick. One that they've been so confident on so far in Pro League. But now to fall for the first time since the player break. Surely at this stage, that's almost a bit of a given. It's going to be a grind back to overtime, even at four rounds. And you've got to feel for someone like Neil, and we know that he's the second lowest rated player for Evil Geniuses. Three, he's caught off. Flash blind to right. Hex with the SMG does get the kill back and drop his force to trade. Hex on an entity, but Neil comes in with support. Yuri deals with Hex in a three on three situation, and Neil's tagged up safe with the open automatic. Yuri deals with Neil and it's circle own in a one on three situation in the midst of smoke in upper heaven. Can't even connect the first shot onto Yuri. Desperate to find a flick to return. That nade will come in close, do some damage, but it won't be getting any kills. It won't be getting around 16 to 11. Neilan in at dark has to try and get distraction pulled from his teammates. Plant secured, waiting for drop the face in. There comes the headshot opening kill. Found by Evil Geniuses, and he's looking for a little bit more, but Automatic catches Art back in the corridors. Neilan looking at the backside, C safe, presents a point blank frag and reduces the T's to two, making it a triple now for Neilan. A 1v5 for Yuri, all the way back in secret, very far away, looking for flanks, looking for information, and looking to cut off CTs, but now so far away from the site, and the defensive will just hold its line, get the defuse in, and get the pistol for Evil Geniuses. Neilan again. Yuri trying to see if he can get as much out of these double doors, but the bomb's been trying stuck. To escape here towards the site. Top of the hut. We'll just wait for them to make their move. God, look at the map controlling from Fury and Cirque. Up close and personal. Does deliver with the orb. They still place that left-hand side of garage, though. Unaware of them right now. Things that they might be out here making a ton of noise. Did you see the pixel? Yes, he did. Great shot on drop. But safe is there for a response. Can grab that bomb very quickly. But continue the outside phase. Continue to grab map control away from the CT side. All three players are isolated from each other here. Fury don't have much trade potential. And a safe drops. The bomb goes with him. It'll be a two on four. Yuri's got to start working this player out towards a closed vent. What a jump of information that is from the back of silos. Yuri's been caught out in main now. Now dead to rights on Neilan's part. Caserato again too far away to find some sort of swing and trade. And now held back in Africa. AK versus four being hunted as well by the CT side. This is rifles to gain firepower to get into CT hands. Strong and capable Aubrey has been. Caserato out towards the squeak door. These counter nades are bloody good every round. But K Serato's doing one better alongside Yuri's P250. A five on three game by Furia. Automatics found through the smoke. And while the utility might be great, the kills are what matters, and Furia have more of them. Smokes and flashes in, Neil and trying to lean forward, sprays back from the T side in from Squeaky. Cindy sent towards close vent as Cirk goes dropping, Neil and is caught out in the open. Beautiful stuff from him. Nays down, K Serato getting hexed, automatic trades back on one, a four on four. Evil Genius is trying to hang in there despite their pistol basis. They forced the issue in this round, but now they'll start to fall apart. Quick 90 degree flip to automatic. Might even get the AWP as well. Sirk playing with fire on the outside. Sees the head. Desperate for the kill and does land it. But now the backstab might become his next big worry. At least that bomb is dropped and the T's can't make progress. Giving Sirk another good kill. Versus two now. He's doing well to isolate these 1v1s. Case of Rhino. Make his way in against the likes of automatic. One flash sent down against that M4, forced him into a corner. Meanwhile, a lobby of crunch attempt from the CT side is dealt with by Caserato and drops. Cirk does get one back, but does lose his life. Automatic and Hex continue training and towards outside safe. Keeps the advantage in for Furia. Hex now all alone, center of the A site, and no entity here but a T side. A flank inbound from heaven and all. And I believe they know exactly where he is. I just try to slow it down. Safe, gonna get into a position with the orb where he does get dropped and Hex is looking up towards the heaven control. Art is spotted right there for the run. They tried to lean forward here. 
Nothing from Squeaky Door and Mini flashes forward. Hex ready to spray and catch is safe. Now down to two as he gets the double up. Cirque with the AWP on Kay Serato straight through the smoke. It's easy pickings. And are in a one versus five. Here is that to cross ahead of that gap. Automatic will now be seen. Arthur dropping against him. Point blank engagement goes the way of the CT side. Yuri can't quite find the trade either. The smoke start to clear. Automatic playing around credit card though. Seen and tapped up. And now Yuri can keep the pressure towards Lockers. Doesn't even need to commit with it. Okay, Serato with a walkout from Squeak Door. Catches Hexed out into the open. The four and three situation. Making it two as he taps off the head of Breezy in heaven. Now Cirque and Neil. And now just Cirque as Kay Serato goes massive for another round here. Ten picks deep. Not quite as monstrous yet. The AWP, however, going to try hold resistance to the CT side and drop. Neil and crack and goal sees are a little bit late to respond towards him. But Cirque has him on lock and makes it a 3k with that flip. Drop down, Yuri and safe. Two on five situation, making it one. The safe is forced to trade back on Neil and automatic all that kill on outside. And the AWP, nothing left in this round. What a necessity this round has been for Evil Genius as well, because that would have been one of those swing rounds where they get reset, they're forced down onto eco territory. And Cirque, opening pick towards main, relocates over to ramp. And with that distraction being pulled away from the in-game leader of Neelan, it sets Cirque up. Even Automatic has a backstab. This has been a very one-sided round. Bashes forward from safe, getting themselves set up here for what's still like a fast execution initially. Furia apply the breaks though, might go in very quickly after the fact. Secondary wave of utility inbound, they go for the vent dive. Hex might start hearing this as Kei Serato reveals it. Automatic, first casualty, and they're all down to the B sites. Neelan acting out quickly to the side of ramp, being mollied to the right-hand side, has to kind of keep fighting, keep the pressure on. There's another case, Serato still close to the window drop, finds his AK headshot instead of the center of the site. Four on three. AWP just firing blind, hoping for the best. EG are on their way in from secret, only just now starting to get down the stairs. So they are being extremely slow with setting up this retake. It might be another save call. Weapons in hand, that is better with the economy not being 100% solid. Breezy does find a decent kill though. Hex finds another one, drop down. Kay Serato, two to find the tray. Gets only one of them, but Breeze will drop in the end. And now Cirque, no time to go for this defuse. Hasn't even got access to the site. Gotta save the AWP. Furia will take six. Hey, Serato just beaming with that early entry. How quick he's able to get down for the vents and act almost immediately. We saw that first engagement set itself up. The question up. will be, have they done enough here in the first half to get something on this nuke? Already they're diving down to the beast site. Footsteps heard by Automatic. A lot more CT presence out here, but it's pistols on SMGs. The pistol overwhelmed. Automatic even falls on the upper site in a five on three situation here. Hexed leaning forward. Missing the angle, does see K Serato. That's burst fine, that's a spray back towards one, but Breezy falls in turn. And now just being wrapped upon, bombed down towards lower, individuals everywhere, Hex desperate for a fight back. Only one kill found for it though, the orb for drop. Their chance to take full control for evil geniuses. Let's see whether they can frag back safe, caught the first. It seemed like it was going to be a quick reaction out from the squeak door and into ramp. Now they've got to cancel and start working their way on a contact, perhaps even a vent drop. Oh, they heard the footsteps. They dive right in towards Art and Hex can respond. Two more players right behind him. Yuri in from the ramp entrance. Gets that headshot. Nice and effective on Breezy as well. Hearing automatic coming in from the bat lines. USP ready for the headshot, ready for the 3k. Swings back and looks for it, but loses his life as Cirque gets safe on the turnaround. Two on two. Bombs on site. Can get planted. Rotates towards ramp, can be quick. Automatic, gonna be able to get that bomb down without taking a fight. Drop can get over to the kit now with the Julies. Leaning in for that contact, killing us. The player in the bat lines now knows where that bomb has been planted. Might need support from Kay Serato. He's coming in extremely slow from the back. Drop. Desperate to spot the second T side player, but it's still just automatic taking that face against him, trying to find those pop shots back onto him. USP of K Serato slowly closing in, can open up the double doors, but Automatic has caught drop easy. Now on towards one Ethereum. Evil Geniuses. They're going to go three for four in pistols so far in this series. And with that, they'll put themselves up by two against Furia. K Serato can't do much to deny this defuse at this moment. It will be around for EG. He could just see how much can. Bree is finally getting involved. There you go. You asked for it, and you shall receive. Galil ahead of the squeak door just before those smokes start to bloom. Take an art down, safe towards outside. Does find automatic on the trade though. So a four on four as Breeze doubles up. Now extending his kill count to six. Safe still fragging towards outside though. Smokes in, Breeze swings and drop. Can drop him, so advantage now for the Furious side. 
The Cirque trying to catch a timing. Just a walk forward towards Hutt has not been seen towards that right-hand side. His teammate's still in secret as of right now for Nealon. They might be able to crunch back towards us. And 60 points of health. Let's not to retake some map control. That bomb has crossed away from where Yuri's gone past, though. So Cirque could try escape and try working a different angle. The bomb can get planted. Maybe best bet right here is to try and uh, cut rotations back, thinking that he might have escaped. Bomb plant will be secured. Retake will be on. What can Cirque do here? They must have to take this fight on to drop. Neil and trying to get out to that Venz control as well. Just slow it down. Allow that retake to be stalled. Wraparounds from Neil and going to look for Yuri next. Drop has made his way out to his mini. Spotted. There's the spray. A two on two to draw their attention back further away from the B side. But instead, they just go whole hog with the retake. Neil and moving in, hearing those footsteps bomb. Planted the back side. Now Decon has controlled back. Player taken back by Neilan's part of things. Yuri with a traitor one on one on the defuse. Tapping it. Going to look for the pick back. But Neilan's hiding to stall for time and leave demise for Furia. Yes, all players will fall for EG on a bonus round, but they claim 11 7. Fury are still not aggressive for the info. Drops AK watching. Until he gets thrown out towards the A site. It's safe towards outside. Automatic drop gets Breeze in case Serato can lock out one more. Safe doubles up. Meanwhile, Bond's been dropped. Circ 20 seconds and a one versus five. No way he wins this. He'll try lean out, try get something out of this. But Furia will close the gap even further as Cirque indeed commits himself to the save, which he can't even get out of this round. Racing for impact on the execution. Utility thrown down towards backside. Smokes the Molotov, keeping drop completely blind. But Caserato still sprays through the squeak door. Gets automatic. Opens up the round and forces EG to rethink the game plan. But lose another player in the interim. He spams Caserato again. And don't tell me he's going to regress through oh. the smoke in a 5v3. Look at this. Breeze is dead. Caserato with a triple. Seeing the quarter, in fact, right at his feet. Sprays down Cirque next. And nearly now, all alone. K Serato might just get the ace right here. What a play he's had and what a series he's been able to gain. Leaning around that corner, Neil and desperate for a trade, but will get no such thing. That's an ace for K Serato. The opening frag has gone the way of evil geniuses, but Art. Will he find automatic here? No, spraying wildly. Neil and puts him down. Five on three. This is good stuff. This is the best round yet for Evil Geniuses in the second half. And just after they've caught a tactical, Safe is going to get aggressive. Back into lobby with drop. Swinging in, sees the gun barrel, sees Hexed. Engages but loses the fight. The AWP is safe. One and two players left trying to swing in, but taking leg shots back to the AWP at the T sideline. One HP for him. And at this point, they can take the A site pretty confidently here with one bullet. You could breathe on Safe, and that would be good enough. Evil Geniuses will look towards their bomb plant, look towards Yuri to get him and safe. will evade the Molotov for now. But a one on five, the B site's open, the bomb will go down. That's an excellent round coming through from EG. Tactical. Lashes forward, Yuri, M4 tucked away, back around the corner as safe lands on Breezy instead. Hexed trying to fall back, bomb on his back. But separated from all T side elements, at least automatic comes back with one. It's then the two for one and overall the advantage that will sit with Furia and Yuri might be making big mistakes. Hex will see him and adjust. That's a massive mistake to make. Back to evens will go in the B side. Now has one man to hold it. Yuri knew because Automatic was outside, he's got to press, he's got to get aggressive, and now things get out of order. Automatic starting walk forward. Might just catch the information to drop to the back of the side. Didn't quite see him just yet. We'll look for Kesarata Molotov sent down. Force him out, no smokes. Swing for the kill, there comes one more. Three on two, evil geniuses have turned this around and automatic dives down. It's all on Art of Dark. M4, footsteps all around and will he get checked here? Neil and better do so. Molotov sent out towards the ramp opening. Hexed, bomb plant could be denied right here. Art to swing, gets it in time. 12 seconds left, evil geniuses might bottle this at the last hurdle. Neil and needs this kill and needs it fast. Art is playing bait as drop comes in with support and automatic can't do jack. Full tilt in. At least they can get the main smokes down and siphon off the garage and uh, mini entrances, but safe can look right over those smokes and get automatic to start things off. Neil oh. not seen by Art. Now he is, but he gets his kill back. Is there another one? No. Caserato responds in kind. This boy's going to go out to the close vent again. Caserato has to swing. The walkout from Squeak Door's got to be there. Big frag for Hex, three on three, but low HP on Neil and Hex has been tagged up in that exchange. Drop. 
completely unscathed. Sirk's looking the wrong way. This is perfect. Two kills to find. That's rounds. Hex alone does get one trade back, but needs to go absolutely massive here on Nuke. And Safe is already watching with AWP. Catches his frag. Wins out map match and group points for Furia. On the T side, rifle rounds will just get clapped back immediately by the Brazilians. M4's burst in two kills found by Art and Caserato. Five on three. Automatic trying to hold on to some sort of life alongside Neil and getting a trade. But drop immediately responds to Breeze. EG have got to work outside. They've given too much information away. Try and get themselves down to secret. Caserato can rotate into the vents control. Automatic is expecting another jewel just on the edge of this smoke. Now Yuri is down the ramp. Window open, automatic utility in hand. Spray through, but stop. It's a little bit awkward for Yuri, but he comes together in the end. Automatic now to clutch it all. Sees the player at Decon, but has his knife pulled out. And K Serato will seal the deal, close this series, and send EG packing out of the ESL Pro League. That's a good performance coming through from Furia today. And what really gave them that edge trade, that X Factor, that...